Right there in Abaco. There's a song or that say, you gotta be strong. I don't know all the lyrics of it, but it comes to my mind. You gotta be strong. I don't know who sings it, but it's a powerful song about being strong. I was born in Dundestan in 1961. The German, German woman, the German woman delivered me. She said I was so pretty that she named me after her eldest child, Kai Gottlieb. That's where I got the name from. Um, back then, we didn't have any streets so to say. We didn't have any street lights. We had outdoor toilets. We played marbles. We live off the farm. That's why the older people live so long because they didn't have all this garbage that we eat today. But we had a sense of community. Everybody's playing now. We saw what happened after Hurricane Doreen. Only people that really benefit was the rich and the Haitians. They could build houses 10 times the size from where they came from because the international community never came here for Bahamians. And the government, whatever the international community gave them for, Bahamians, they stole it. I noticed there was one guy there, Mitchell, Bahama Striping. He came from painting, um, paint on the road as a striper. After Hurricane Doreen, he had two bulldozer escalators, but 10 trucks. Where the hell did Mitchell get all this money from? all of a sudden. He was fronting. But what pissed me off about Mitchell is that he's from Murphy Town. And I see Mitchell, but if I see Mitchell, I want to tell Mitchell something, but I can't get to, to, to say any airs, but I want to tell Mitchell any airs. I know your daddy down there, Chick. I know Chick. The last time I saw Chick was at Porter's Key. But Mitchell all over the Bahamas bragging about giving all this money it, it, it's obvious that Mitchell is not the controller of Bahamas striping. He's just a front man because they lied when they said they had over 100 workers uh, for Bahamas striping after Hurricane Doreen. That's a lie because I live where they live in the Friendship Tabernacle. There was never 100 workers there at all at any day. But my story is that Mitchell never helped nobody in Murphy Town where his mother and his father, and he was. Ask Mitchell which five people that he helped. And he made millions. If you could open the book to what Bahamas Stripen put in to the government for works that they didn't do, after Hurricane Doreen, you'll hold you, you'll scratch hole in your head. And guess what? Mitchell ain't have nobody in Murphy Town. He all over bragging, but garbage. This boy never came to the rescue of Murphy Town yet. Yet he made the most money. His company, not him. Because it's, it don't seem like he's in charge of that company. Because he helped. Three people in Murphy Town, yet, but he made millions and millions that he could have bulldozers from a paint can to two D eight escalators, trucks. <laughs> These people is a bunch of jokers. These people is a bunch of jokers. Mitchell. 
shame on you uh, for being a boy from Murphy Town. And five years later, you still can't be bragging about helping five people in Murphy Town and the most money you ever made in your life. You made it after Hurricane Doreen. And then you become from a striper to big heavy equipment company. Where you get the money from? Who is money laundering through Bahamas striping? We don't care who's money laundering, but we would have been happy that Mitchell, who said that he's the owner, the CEO of Bahamas striping would have spent some of that money and left some of that money in Murphy Town. They even took the washer, the beds, everything that they had in the church. They was like Joneses. They grabbed everything and carried the eczema to complete the bleeding of the public's purse. Bunch of gangsters, criminals in this country. Kai cares that someday they will be facing the same time that Nygaard and FTX is facing for the crimes that they committed. You imagine FTX them did most of these crimes in the Bahamas. Nygaard did most of this crime in the Bahamas and not one single court appearance. Something ain't right. The Bahamas is not a real place. But Kai is still hopeful that some of these politicians seek jail because Kai cares.